Hi, I'm Natalie Ledwell. Now today, I want to talk to you about the most common challenge that America's 13.7 million single parents struggle with every day. You know what that is? Well, if you're a single parent, I'm sure you've just guessed it. It's money. Now, earning money can be challenging enough when you're single, but when you're raising children by yourself, not only do you need more of it, but it's also really hard to find the time to earn it. So talk about a double whammy. So what do you do if you dream of increasing your income or growing a business or simply just having a better work-life balance while still fulfilling your responsibilities as a single parent? Well, after working with thousands of single parents, here are six priceless personal development tips that have consistently helped them live life more abundantly and to develop a wealthy mindset and stay positive even when times are really tough. Which let's face it, as a single parent, often life is pretty tough. So mindset tip number one is I know when to put myself first. Now, have you ever noticed on flights that you're told to put the emergency oxygen mask on yourself first before you're tending to other people or to tending to your children? That's because you won't be any good to any of your kids if you're unconscious. And the same thing goes for your daily life as well. You know, I was in a, a seminar just recently when uh, a gentleman was saying, you know, when they tell you to put the oxygen on, you know, what is that? You know, that oxygen is life, that oxygen is love. And until you can actually breathe that in and have a constant flow of that coming into your life, it's difficult to, for you to show up as the best version of yourself and the best parent that you can be. Now remember that knowing when to put yourself first is the key to relieving stress and broadening her, your horizons and finding the career and the financial opportunities that will serve both you and your family. So that's why I advise my single parent clients to carve out time from their busy schedules to work on their wealth mindset. So whether that's you know networking with other people, learning a new profession, uh, or learning a new skill, even growing a business at your own pace, and maybe you're doing that on the side. You know, you're not being selfish when you're doing everyone else a favor like this, and you're really helping to increase your mindset, your wealth mindset. Reading books is an also a great way to do this, and researching online. Now, mindset tip number two is I appreciate every second of my life. Now, becoming a single parent thrusts you onto a roller coaster of emotions. Now, becoming a single parent often twists that roller coaster into an unbelievably exhausting, gravity defying, scream inducing ride that shakes you to your core. But who says that you can't choose to love every moment of it anyway? Now, it might not be in the moment, <laughs> but, you know, be able to uh, appreciate everything that's going on and the time that you have with your children um, is a really good way that uh, you can really help to raise your vibration and your frequency, which means it's easier for you to track what you need to be able to create the wealth that you want. Now, every tantrum and every confrontation that you endure is an opportunity for growth and for learning for both parties involved. <laughs> so every financial challenge that you conquer makes you even stronger and it all serves to make the good times even sweeter. Now it might be hard to imagine this right now, but one day you might miss what you have today. So cherish it and remember that an attitude of gratitude will only bring more abundant opportunities and outcomes into your present reality. Okay, so mindset tip number three is I am a shining beacon of light. Okay, now single parents are an inspiration. They're a symbol of mankind's incredible capacity for love and strength and resilience. And you may be surprised if you found out just how many people you inspire and empower just by doing what you do and showing up as who you are. Now, of course, I'm not telling you this so that you can feel pressure of wanting to be a perfect role model, but rather so that you can find confidence and personal power in knowing that the path that you're on takes grit. You know, the same kind of grit that's found in entrepreneurs and professionals and other successful people with wealthy mindsets. So if you want to learn how to live more abundantly, you must first believe in yourself and have pride over your accomplishments and being you. Okay, so mindset tip number four is I'm not perfect and that's okay. Speaking of perfection, I mean, who's perfect anyway and perfect according to whom? So stop beating yourself up 
whenever you miss sending the kids to soccer practice or when you're too tired to cook dinner and you settle for sandwiches instead. The quest for perfection is dangerous and impossible. It stops a lot of otherwise very capable parents from improving upon themselves or pursuing a business idea or aiming for that raise or that promotion at work just because they feel that they're not good enough or because they don't have all of their bases covered. Now, if you begin to question how to stay positive when times are really tough, simply embrace your imperfections. Forgive yourself with grace and then move forward with confidence because believe me, we are all the same. Okay, now mindset tip number five is I am far from alone. So from family members and friends, trustworthy babysitters, uh, single parents and potential allies at yoga class or the gym or even the neighborhood coffee shop, you are opening yourself to all of the people that could help you take some of the heat off raising your kids. Now in the past, before the traditional family unit was the norm, children were raised not only by their parents but also by the tribe that they belong to. So why not expand your tribe and get help with taking care of your kids on some days, which could even teach them unique skills and perspectives from other people. Now the extra time and mind space that you gain will do wonders for your career and your finances. And in addition, you'll be turning your single parenting challenges into opportunities for growth for both yourself and for your children. So mindset tip number six, I am in total control even when I'm not. So embrace the chaos. You can't always control what happens to you, but you can control your reactions and your emotions. So whether it's a crisis at work or something that your kids did at school, and you know, when you train yourself to say something positive when times are really tough, then you're also training your brain to manifest the best possible solutions and outcomes. Now mind shifts like these will help you to reclaim the time, the energy and the headspace that you need to start earning and achieving more. Now remember, you're not here to compete with others or even the old you. You're here to create the ideal outcomes in your current circumstances. And that's something you can do always, no matter how many kids you're raising or how busy that you get. All right, now before I go, I'd like to ask you, do you have any other tips that have helped you develop a wealthier mindset? If you do, please share it here in the community on the comment box below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Mind Movies YouTube channel for more videos on personal growth and the law of attraction. Again, my name is Natalie Ledwell. Thanks for watching and bye for now.